Throughout history, warriors have pushed the boundaries of protection to survive the brutal realities of the battlefield. Few achieved it like the armored medieval knight, a symbol of resilience, a fortress of steel, seemingly impenetrable to all but the mightiest blow. But what happens when 500 years of technology separate the blade from the bullet? Today, we're not just guessing, we're diving deep into metallurgy, ballistics, and battlefield physics to scientifically answer the ultimate question, how many modern bullets would it really take to kill a fully armored medieval knight? Let's begin by understanding the knight's formidable defense. We're talking about late medieval full plate armor, like the elegant Gothic or robust Milanese suits of the 15th century. This wasn't just metal, it was a marvel of engineering, crafted from high carbon steel, carefully heat treated to enhance its toughness and flexibility. Crucially, its thickness varied. Around two to three millimeters in vital areas like the breastplate, where deflection was key, and thinner elsewhere for flexibility and mobility. Historically, this armor was incredibly effective, designed to deflect arrows, blunt devastating sword blows, and even resist early slow-moving gunpowder projectiles from a distance. Now let's look at the offense. For our test, we'll consider a modern military standard, the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO cartridge, fired from a common assault rifle like the AR-15. This little projectile, weighing just around four grams, leaves the barrel at an astonishing 950 meters per second. That's nearly three times the speed of sound. This incredible speed translates into immense power. Using the kinetic energy formula, KE is one half MV squared, we find this small round generates roughly 1800 joules of kinetic energy. To put that in perspective, a powerful longbow arrow might generate around 50 to 80 joules. A 5.56 millimeter bullet packs the punch equivalent to being hit by a small car traveling at 30 kilometers per hour, but concentrated into a tiny point. So would this power penetrate? Absolutely. While plate armor was designed to deflect, a direct hit from a modern rifle round would likely perforate even the thickest sections of medieval plate. It's not just about piercing though. Even if the bullet was somehow stopped, the sheer kinetic energy transfer would be devastating. Imagine being hit with a sledgehammer from the inside. Internal organ damage, broken bones, and massive shock are almost guaranteed. For our simulation, we need to make some crucial assumptions to bridge reality and game mechanics. Perfect hits. We assume every shot hits a vital area, not a glancing blow. No morale effects. We're focusing purely on physical damage, not the psychological impact that would cause a knight to flee. Standard ammunition. No specialized armor-piercing rounds, just typical full metal jacket. Based on this analysis, a direct, solid hit from a modern 5.56 millimeter rifle round would be lethal. While highly variable in reality, for our simulation, we estimate that one to two effective hits would be sufficient to completely incapacitate or kill a fully armored knight due to penetration, blunt trauma, or shock. Now, let's translate this scientific understanding into our battle simulator, UEBS-2. First, our medieval knight. We'll set their health to a base of 200. This represents their overall durability, shock absorption from the armor, and the life force of the knight. Their damage with a sword will be left at its default value of 50, as our focus today is on the bullet's impact, not their close combat prowess. Next, our modern soldier. Their health will also remain at 100, as we're testing their offensive power, not their individual resilience to medieval weaponry. For their damage, based on our real-world estimate of one to two effective shots to kill a knight, we'll set their damage to 100 per shot. Crucially for accuracy, to ensure our calculated hits are reliably delivered, we'll set it to a very high value, perhaps 95%. This represents ideal conditions where soldiers are trained marksmen focusing on vital hits, eliminating the variability of miss rates for our scientific test. With these precise calibrations, our simulation is now ready to scientifically test the overwhelming power of a modern rifle against medieval armor. We now have a reliable, scientifically-based representation of modern firepower in our simulator. The stage is set for the ultimate showdown. Now let's find out if 5,000 modern soldiers can stop 
500,000 armored knights.
So the ultimate test is complete. Our 5,000 modern soldiers, armed with their precisely calibrated firepower, didn't just win. They absolutely decimated a force 100 times their size. This was just the beginning of our journey into battle analytics. What other impossible matchups or historical what-ifs should we dissect with this level of scientific rigor? Let us know your ideas in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and make sure to subscribe to Battle Blaze for more in-depth simulations and analytical showdowns.